I leave it for five minutes and then you go and destroy my grooming box. Now you've licked it, it's wet. I can't even, I can't even sit on this. I'm gonna get a wet bottom. Oh well, I'll just have to put up with it, hey? Licky monster. Oh, now you want to lick my boots. So what are you gonna lick next, hey? Yep. Oh, hands. No, I don't have any treats. I'm sorry, Mickey. Yeah, I'm just in a licky, licky mood. You're in a licky, licky mood, hey? <laughs> anyway, guys, hello, Mickey. I can't do the intro. You're licking way too much. Okay, let's sort the hair out. Are we good? Are you ready? Are you ready to film? Okay. Hello everybody, this is me and welcome back to a new video. I have some very exciting news. Today is just a very exciting video in general because we have hit half a million subscribers. Yes, 500,000. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. But not only that, We've also, the channel in, as a general, has reached 100 million views in total. So thank you so much guys for every single one of you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it so, so much. It means, it means so, so, I don't know how much to say, but words can't describe how much I really do appreciate it. So um, to celebrate today's video, we also have some more exciting news as well, because yes, Today, I get to go up to the Pony Mag offices and pre-sign all of my books. So I think there are around 2,000 books that I'm gonna be signing today. So that is a lot. Almost as many as the amount of licks that I'm getting today from Mickey. Yes, quite a few licks. He's in such a licky mood, probably from all of the excitement. So anyway, guys, I will see you when I'm up at the Pony Mag offices. <laughs> Now you stop licking. Now we stop filming, you stop licking. Classic mix, hey? Okay guys, we're now here at Pony HQ, um, DJ Murphy that do Pony Magazine and also Horse and Rider. So I'm very excited because today I actually get to see my book in the flesh, in real life for the first time. Obviously I've seen it on like a computer and things, but it's just so much cooler when you get to open it up, flick through the pages, that kind of thing. So let's go inside. <gasps> we're definitely in the right place, guys. Ta-da! Okay, time to go and sign in and then find the books. <laughs> Hi Holly! <laughs> Good, thank you. Do you want to come this way? Yeah, sure. Very exciting. Oh my goodness, wow! It's here in real life. It's Joey on the front. We've got all three of them on the back. With their little ears forward as well. It took so long to take that photo. But yeah, oh my goodness, it's so nice seeing it in real life. One about bonding with your horse. On all about the van. Oh my goodness. Okay, we should probably put this away because I've got a lot of signing to do. How many books did you say, Holly? 2,000. 2,000 books I've got to sign today. So thank you so much, everybody, who has pre-ordered my book already. Very exciting. We have like 78 boxes of books I think I've got to sign. So let's go. <laughs> All right, that is another one signed. So I thought I'd give my arm a little bit of a rest because it is aching quite a bit now. Thought I'd have a little, little, another little look through because oh, there are just so many memories in here, guys. Of all the things that I've got up to, it's just, oh, I love looking at all the pictures. Oh, like this one here is when I did some Western riding in the US. It was like the first time I ever did Western riding, which is pretty cool. Got my little cowgirl hat on and everything. So this book here is actually going to the US because we do ship worldwide, which is very exciting. So, you know, anybody can get one. <laughs> Uh, one of my personal favourites, 
the Mickey Mud Monster, so how I get him nice and clean. We also have oh, another one I went to Iceland. That was just an incredible trip. It was so fun riding the Icelandic horses. Saw some really cool waterfalls as well. Then we have one all about bonding with my new horse. So obviously I got Joey this year. So all the sort of things that I've done to get used to him and we're definitely like BFFs now. Like, you know, when like when you first get a new horse and you just start to get to know each other, but I feel like now he's definitely my horse and yeah, we feel, I feel like we've definitely got that strong bond. And then yeah, oh my gosh, this is definitely one of my new favorite photos. So it has Mickey, Joey and Casper. So this is Meet the Menagerie and it's all about the animals. So there's even like a little bit on the chickens and the donkeys. So this photo we actually took when Pony came over and we did a little photo shoot. So I thought I'd show you the vlog from when we took all of the photos and how we actually managed to get all of their ears forward as well. <laughs> All right, so here is the behind the scenes vlog that I did while we did the photo shoot for my book, which was so much fun to just do in general. So here we had Mickey and we did lots of photos for the barn hack section. So I'm actually holding a watering can and washing his tail with that. And we also have lots of fun little behind the scenes clips as well. <laughs> Wasn't actually pointing at you, Holly. <laughs> I think the thing that's made him look so much posher is I trimmed his beard hairs. He's always to look great. <laughs> <laughs> that jawline. <laughs> yeah. So yes, all of the ponies had a little bit of a neaten up for the photo shoot to make sure that they were looking absolutely pristine. Um, there I was just cleaning the bucket, which was a little bit dirty, and here I'm pouring some water from the bucket into the watering can, which was more difficult than it looks because I wasn't actually looking at the watering can, I was looking at the camera and then I just kind of spilt it everywhere, which wasn't great. Here I'm just grabbing a permanent marker from the feed room because the next section for the barn hacks I was actually writing on all of the heights on our jump stands so then um, when I'm actually jumping I'm setting up a course I know exactly what height I'm doing as well. Okay, so we've just finished doing some of the barn hacks photos um, where I've been wearing my pink top, but now I've got to get changed um, into a different top because I'm now doing some grooming pics with Mickey. Uh, the tack room is now a makeshift sort of changing room, so it's going to be a little bit messy in here. So um, I'll just unlock this. See you guys later. Ta da! <laughs> Good boy. So after my wardrobe change, it was then time to actually mess up Mickey's hair a little bit because we were doing a before photo of him looking not so good, a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty. And then it was time to actually groom him. So here I have my jelly mitt that's so good. Um, it's really nice on him as well because he loves it. It's kind of a bit like a massage. So a bit of a pony pamper session too. And then after that, I just carried on giving him a good old groom. All of the horses were also watching the action I think Casper here got a little bit jealous and was like, Holly, give me cuddles, I want some of the attention. So then after a lot more photos, I did some mane brushing, um, also his little forelock as well to make him look super smart. And of course, we also took some photos of me brushing through his tail. And we also got some shots of me spraying the mane and tail detangler. However, on this particular day, it was so windy that my hair was flying everywhere, his tail was flying everywhere, but we eventually did get the photo also got some of me brushing his legs and also his face and I think here he was like falling asleep slightly because he just loves the head scratches and the kisses and the cuddles and Mickey was just loving life however I don't think he was the biggest fan of when I had to clean out his nostrils that definitely isn't his favorite part he was like no mommy you're embarrassing me um, then it was time to put some hoof oil on for the little finishing touches and yes I'm actually using a paintbrush here I don't actually own a hoof foil brush and then we took some after photos where I was trying my best to try and get his ears forward and then we also took some of us together and oh my goodness he literally looks like he's falling asleep here it was so difficult to get a photo of him with his eyes actually open so then once we're finished with Mickey I just popped him back in his stable and then it was time to get some more photos but this time I had my little treat DIY carrot which is also in the book very exciting I think Mickey very much liked it because he got some treats afterwards which <laughs> He was 
was a little bit violent with. He was a bit too excited about the treats. But of course, Casper got a little bit jealous, poor boy. Mickey also got some little head scratches, which he loves. But don't worry, guys. Nobody gets left out here. Joey got some treats. Mickey got some treats. And of course, Casper had to get some treats too, which he really loved. And Mickey decided to just carry on scratching. Scratching the door. Like, Mickey, what are you doing? Being a Cromello, he does have quite sensitive skin and just likes to scratch on things all the time but he just looks so goofy like Mickey what are you doing and then after that it was time to get some headshots with Joey and this photo shoot as I said before was filmed such a long time ago that this was actually Joey's first ever photo shoot I'd only had him like a month or two at this point so everything was still very new he was a little bit confused about what was going on he's still a baby horse still getting used to the YouTube life but anyway after Mickey coming along so he knew that there was a friend near um, lots of scratches kisses cuddles attention I also took him on lots of little walks when he got a little bit bored or a little bit confused about what was happening and he was like no I can't stand still for this long um, but after in the end we did actually manage to get some really good photos maybe with some help of the treat jar and a few treats um, and Mickey being there for moral support Mickey was a little pro he just loved all of the attention from all of Team Pony yep the treat jar with Holly definitely worked really well Mickey also decided to give everyone a lick attack I also gave Joey some breaks by letting him have some grass. Holly came along again as I said and gave him lots of treats and in the end we actually got some super nice photos but no we weren't finished there yet because we wanted to get some photos with Joey and Mickey together the two boys um, which was a little bit more difficult than we were expecting but you know what it's Joey's first photo shoot Mickey and Joey really didn't know each other that well at the time as well and we thought you know what let's make it even more difficult for ourselves and add a third horse into the mix but in the end we actually did manage to get a photo with all three horses Casper, Joey and Mickey with their ears forward. It took a while because the wind was blowing, my hair was everywhere, there was one point I was blinking, the horse's ears weren't forward but in the end we did manage to get that photo. After lunch, we then took some photos of me filling in my This Is Me journal. Um, again, it was also super windy. Some of the garden furniture decided to just blow away. And we also took some photos with my This Is Me cookies. There is a recipe in my book, which is very exciting. Maybe a This Is Me kitchen video coming at some point. <laughs> anyway, we then took some photos of me biting into the cookies. And yes, they tasted as good as they looked. They were so yummy. However, it was kind of embarrassing <laughs> taking photos of me biting into the cookie because I feel like it just looked kind of awkward um, but they were very very nice so then it was time to go back to the yard and do some poo picking or mucking out shots um, which was actually quite good we did some in Mickey's stable I believe so he left us a few little presents to take photos of then it was time to do some tack cleaning photos so this was again for the sort of barn hacks there were a few little hacks here with tack cleaning in my book too and of course I had to have my novelty sponge so today I was using my melon one and also my rainbow one too. We took some more photos of me cleaning my saddle. Again, my hair going absolutely everywhere with the wind. And then here I'm just putting my bridle back together for some shots with just me and my tack. Once it's nice and clean because we actually did a few before and after shots. So then after that it was time to take some photos with Joey for the bonding with my horse section. So again, this being his first photo shoot, he found it a little bit like confusing like why is she walking me up and down here why do I have to stand still so he did get a little bit impatient did a little bit of digging but then I just let him have some grass and he was super happy so we actually did some photos of me hand grazing him which is another really good way of bonding with your new horse then it was time to get some pics with Casper I was trying to make him stand really nicely but he was a little bit of a wriggle bottom he did move like a little bit but in the end we took some really nice photos I believe this was in the section all about what your horse is thinking so we needed to try and get some photos with him looking happy with his ears forward him looking a little bit grumpy with his ears back and we also took some photos with the horses with me scratching them in their favorite scratchy spot so after that we then took some photos with the donkeys they were very excited because we had to get lots of buckets of food out to try and get them to put all of their heads over their stable door 
don't think we quite got that shot in the end so we decided to put them outside instead with all of their feed buckets and they also had their matching stripy fly rugs on as well here Bruno and Willow were <laughs> sharing some of I think that was Toby's bucket I don't know what ended up happening there and then we just got some stills with me and Willow and here's Bruno finding something very very smelly I don't know what he was smelling but you can tell this was a long time ago because when these photos are taken it was actually in their winter slash spring paddock when now they're in their summer slash autumn paddock um, so anyway we then took some photos of me in the van all about my van organization where I put all of my tack when I go out and about with the horses um, then we just did some photos of me cleaning it so picking up some of the hay that had fallen down and also you know had to beat the van as well <laughs> when we were taking some photos of me in the front Next, it's Casper's time to shine as we take photos for our show prep section. So here I'm just plaiting his mane and he looks so adorable. However, I might have had a bit of help to make the job a bit quicker while I went and ran back to the house to grab all of my show stuff because I didn't want to leave it at the stables just in case it got a bit dusty or mucky. Here I'm putting on all of Casper's travel stuff. Now his mane is beautifully plaited thanks to Team Pony. So I'm just putting on his tail bandage and also his travel boots as well so he's all ready to go look how smart he is we took so many sort of headshots of me with him all plaited up and he just looks so cute Mickey also was watching the whole time all of the action that was taking place it took a little while to get his ears forward but we managed to get the photo in the end then it was time to do some ridden work with Joey so today we were in our um, matchy matchy citron which I just think looks so so cute on him especially with him being a very dark dapple grey it really pops on him also as you can see here from our flat work he looks like a totally different horse compared to how he does now like here to me he looks a lot more unbalanced he has a lot less muscle and I don't know it just seems so weird because obviously this was such a long time ago being back in June to me I'm like oh my goodness we have improved so much since then so it's nice it's nice to see that we've progressed um, also while we were taking some photos of lots of different flat work exercises we also took some head shots as well and we ended up actually using the headshots as the front cover photo just because they ended up a lot nicer and we also did some hacking shots as well which he was very excited about then it was time to ride Casper now he's in all of his show stuff he even had some hoof oil put on and I put on my show jacket just for some extra finishing touches to make us look even smarter and then finally we just took some photos of us popping a few fences in all of our show gear our jumping was a little bit rusty because this was filmed straight after lockdown and we hadn't done much during then but anyway all of the horses were so well behaved I was really proud of them and that concludes my book photo shoot vlog <laughs> all right everybody we are now on to the last book the 2000th book that I'm signing today don't know if you can tell but I'm a little bit tired now my arm is definitely aching quite a bit I've got a bit of pen mark on here I think we've gone through one two three four five I think this is the sixth sharpie I've used today they've just ran out or got blunt like this one is actually quite a fresh one it's still not as pointy as it was to start with but the other ones wait let's have a little look some of the other ones are like completely down to the bottom which isn't great so I've done a lot of signing today, so let's do the last one, guys. Oh, okay. Better do it neatly as well. Ta-da! There we go. Esme and the little kiss at the end. So yeah, there's the last book, guys. So anyway, guys, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all of you who have already pre-ordered my book. Um, if you'd like to check it out, if you have not done so already, I will leave a little link in the description below. Again, thank you so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Wait, 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 Esme, Esme, stop. I've got some very exciting news that I'm actually going to be holding a giveaway for my book over on my Instagram at this underscore Esme, where we're actually going to be giving away five of my books. So that is quite a lot, guys. Very exciting. So if you'd like to check that out, then be sure to um, go and check out my Instagram and find the little giveaway post. So yeah, carry on, Esme. Do your thing. <laughs> If you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.